I'm Owen Evans, Chiropractor and Clinical Director of Backspace Chiropractic in London and today I'm going to talk about how to do the gardening and household chores if you have or want to avoid back pain. When the weather is so good and lockdown leaving us with more time on our hands to focus on the things that we've been neglecting, it's natural that household chores, DIY aspirations and the gardens will suddenly take priority. However, jumping into potentially strenuous activities without considering our spines can lead to injury. So whether you're in the garden or you're doing the annual spring clean, here are my top tips for getting through it all without injuring yourself. Try thinking of gardening and cleaning as a form of exercise. So you should warm up. Stretching beforehand with a simple routine will limber you up as well as bring your awareness to any areas in the body which may perhaps be a little bit stiff or achy so that you can take extra care not to overexert yourself. Tackle one project at a time and start with the smaller tasks which involve less heavy lifting so that you're warmed up by the time the bigger jobs come around. Take regular breaks to give your muscles a chance to recover and always make sure you're fully hydrated, especially if you're working in the garden on a hot day. Also, don't work on an empty stomach. Eating a meal is really important so that your energy levels are high and that your nervous system is alert and firing on all cylinders. When using a hoover, mop, brush or lawnmower, that pushing and pulling action can be heavy on your lower back. So make sure you stand with a good neutral spine, maintaining the natural arch in the small of your lower back and try a lunge position. Use the legs to do the work. Avoid stooping if you're working on lower surfaces and a great tip is to use a small footstool with one foot up on it to transfer your weight forward with your center of gravity so that you're not using your lower back so much to hold you up. If you're lifting things, it's possible to injure your back without the right technique. So try squatting, hip hinging or the golfer's pickup. We have another brilliant video on bending and lifting techniques that will help. To avoid overreaching when you're working with your arms overhead, it's handy to have a little stool or step ladder to stand on. It's better to invest in one of these than to injure yourself. When you're working on the ground, which can be very often when you're gardening, try kneeling on a pad or a cushion rather than bending from a standing position. Kneeling is a much better position for the lower back because it encourages the pelvis to tilt forwards, maintaining that nice arch in the lower back. If you're carrying heavy things like bags of grass, fertilizer or earth, try to take more trips with smaller loads than trying to do it all at once. That leads me to my next tip. If you have the ability to, ask someone for help, especially when lifting heavy things, or even get someone else to do the work for you completely. DIY is often done on the ground, especially when you're assembling flat pack pieces which are often sprawled all across the floor. Take regular breaks and walk around to give your back a rest and to stretch your muscles. And when kneeling, use a cushion or a knee pad. If the items are heavy, you might want to ask a friend to help you and lift really slowly using your legs. When using a handheld screwdriver, this can really tire the forearm muscles and elbow joints. So try stretching these muscles before and after using one. Often when doing chores, you may need to go from one job which is really low level, perhaps like cleaning under a sink or a low level cupboard, to working higher up, perhaps like clearing out overhead cupboards or wardrobes. These sudden changes in position, using different muscle groups can lead to sprains and strains. So take a break in between to allow your body to adjust to things slowly. When gardening, wear an apron with pockets for carrying small tools around to reduce the amount of bending needed. Instead of heavy duty metal, try using lightweight tools made of plastic in the garden instead, which are often just as strong, but they weigh much, much less. If you need to use a heavy watering can, half fill it instead and make more trips. It might take a bit longer, but your back and shoulders will really thank you for it. And last but not least, as with all exercise in general, you should stretch before and after. And we've got many quick and brilliant routines on our YouTube page to help you, so have a look at those. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more and share it with your friends and family.